Hi, welcome. I'm W.A. Welcome to the three marker challenge where the challenge is... I don't know how to use markers. <laughs> a little backstory because why not? I've been on a doodle date binge and Steph and Adam have inspired me to venture into the world of alcohol markers. So I purchased um, Typeco markers, I haven't heard of them before, they were just affordable and I wanted them. And you know how you look at people on YouTube or wherever and they are using a material that you haven't used before and they make it look so easy and effortless and then you purchase said item and you hold it in your hand and you're like what do I do with you? <laughs> That's me. So in order to practice using alcohol markers, I said, why don't you do the three marker challenge? And so I did. The colors that were chosen at random were number 97, Rose Beige, 43, Deep Olive Green, BG, oh the number, BG5, Blue Gray. I'm using a random red color colored pencil to start sketching what I'm going to color in. Um, I think I'm gonna do a portrait for this. I haven't done a portrait in a long time.
this is just a quick uh, sketch portrait, nothing super detailed or realistic since I am going to be using um, alcohol markers, which is something I know nothing about. <laughs> After the line work is done, I'm going to go over some lines with my Pentel pocket 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 brush. This is where um, you can. This is where I can't hide that I can't really draw ears, and I'm trying to figure out uh, which direction are the lines supposed to go. <laughs> I'm like, this is fine. And okay, this has nothing to do with what I'm doing here on screen, but this is where I realize how annoying that my hand covers the whole screen. Uh, that was poor planning on my part. Uh, it just had to be said. Also, if you let me know down in the comments, do you prefer to watch uh, the sketching and lining process like this, or would you prefer it if we were sped up? Because uh, it's taking a while to get to the good part, and um, I'm just curious, what do you prefer?
Okay, um, starting with BG5 Blue Gray. Um, this is where I'm gonna start <laughs> with the hair. Um, it's gonna be a um, cautious first step. Um, I'm not sure what I'm doing. Uh, how do you layer with alcohol markers? How do you fade into you know, a tint. Um, my background stems from acrylic painting, but my art life has been taken over for the last half decade with watercolors. And watercolors are a world of difference from alcohol markers, if you didn't know. Uh -huh. Um, this is this is new. This is a new battlefield for me. Uh, you know, I'm learning as I go, even if I don't learn anything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, self-explaining over. Um. Switching over to the next color is Beige Rose. I'm just going to use it to do the lips. And that's a pretty color. Going with the last color, green, deep olive, I'm going to go in and color in her sweater. Okay, this is where I'm letting loose a little bit and experimenting. Uh, I'm layering in the blue gray over that green and I found that, hey, hey, this is how you layer with marker. <laughs> Switch with everything else, you just put another color on top. Um, I liked how it turned out. Yeah. Maybe with a bit more practice and more experimenting without being so afraid of messing up, I can learn. <laughs> yeah, this is fun. Not knowing how else I could incorporate the colors, um, I'm going in back in with the red colored pencil and just giving the face more color. Maybe one day I'll be able to do this with markers. Um, I'm just not there, there, not there yet.
Thank you for coming along with me on this fun adventure into the world of alcohol markers. It was a fun ride. <laughs> uh, yeah, thank you. Uh, until next time. Bye.